going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're going over another three ball juggling tutorial the last tutorial I made with three ball juggling was about two years ago so now that I've gotten a little bit better with the editing we're gonna do a better video with the three ball juggling stay tuned so before we get to the tutorial I just want to show you guys we got the new manual labor t-shirt thing so you can pre-order them or you can order them on manuallabor.co So we're gonna work on the basics of the three ball juggling. Before having three balls down, you have to be able to comfortably throw one ball from right to left, left to right. Now with a little bit of practice and just trying this for a couple minutes, you should get this fairly easy. The next thing is doing the same exact thing, but with two. So you're gonna throw one up and cross it. The one thing you don't wanna do is hand it off and just keep doing that. People think this is juggling. This is not juggling. This is handing the ball over and throwing it and catching it in the other hand. So just scratch this out of your memory for now. So you just wanna practice doing that over and over. You can even go left to right, right to left, left to right. And what you're doing is you're making an X. See, cross, cross. One way to think about juggling is odd numbers, you cross them. Three, you cross. Five, you cross. So two balls, it's in one hand. If you're juggling four balls, it would be in one hand. And if you're juggling six balls, that's three in one hand. And what you're ultimately doing is getting your muscle memory. You have neural pathways in your body that don't understand the movement that you're doing right now. So you have to do this basic stuff over and over again. That way you can get that movement and it'll get more comfortable over time. Then next you're gonna have three down. You're gonna be doing all the tricks. Right away. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. See, I need to put this on YouTube. I am a good entertainer. What you're gonna learn is the flash. That's three up, three down. A flash would be with two balls, two up, two down. Four balls, four up, four down. I don't have that many balls, so I'm just using this. So for the flash, all you're gonna do, three up, three down. Three up, three down. Now at the beginning, it's gonna probably look like that, or it's gonna be, oh, I forgot to throw the third one. But what you have to do is force yourself to throw the third one. And remember, you don't have to do that. That's more if you're like learning how to juggle seven balls or so. Uh, for three, there's only gonna be one ball up in the air at a time. So one ball up in the air at a time with one ball, one ball up in the air at a time with two balls, one ball up in the air at the same time with three balls. So the flash is just getting you to get that muscle memory down. So you do this one, two, three, catch. One, two, three, catch, catch, catch. And then eventually you're gonna try and do four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. And so on. One, two, three, four, five. So what you're doing is getting your muscle memory up and you're also getting comfortable with throwing the extra balls. It's not something that you learn like first time. You know, you have to put some time into this. And when you do, you'll be able to do a lot of fun stuff you know, just with practice. Just work on the three ball flash over and over again. Just keep doing that. It's, it's a pretty basic trick, and I think with some work you'll be able to get it. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions, and I'll answer it to the best of my ability. So a couple options you have if you don't have any juggling balls. You can roll up your socks together to learn, or you can get three tennis balls 
and cut a penny size slit in there. You can either put pennies in there, like 10 or 15. Make sure you put the same weight in each ball. That way you have the proper weight when you're juggling. Actually, scratch that. There's a coin shortage, so, you know, maybe you could use some rice or some sand all of the same weight. And then you take some super glue and you glue the ball shut.